Mr. Speaker, and I really appreciate the opportunity uh, that the Assembly has taken uh, to mark the 100th anniversary of Northern Ireland. It has been um, a period of time where we have had many really positive things and really good things, and we have had many people who have excelled. Harry Ferguson, a great inventor, um, my dad bought a, a, a farm off him many, many years ago, and, and it's something that we really cherish. Poets like Seamus Heaney, writers like C.S. Lewis, actors like uh, Liam Neeson, footballers like George Best and Pat Jennings, snooker players like Alex Higgins and uh, Dennis Taylor, and, and motorcycle racers like jo jo Joey Dunlop and indeed um, Young Ray, um, have all demonstrated that Northern Ireland people can achieve greatness, and they have made great contributions both here and in many other parts of the world. But what I would say about Northern Ireland most, and I'm a proud Northern Ireland man, is that its people all of its people. They are a tremendous people. They are a friendly people. They are kind people. They are caring people. The scourge of the troubles that was inflicted for 25 years was a disaster for Northern Ireland, and it was a disaster for everyone in Northern Ireland. And not one of those bullets fired in that trouble was justified, because no one deserved to lose their lives, and we can never return to that again. Let us look forward, Mr. Speaker to a further 100 years where we have others who will achieve greatness, but we will have our, our, our hundreds of thousands and millions who will continue to be a caring, a loving people, a people who are generous to others who are in need. Northern Ireland has had many great things to show for it. It has many great things to come. And I believe that we can move forward confidently. I believe that we can move forward in a way which will uh, ensure that people who have many benefits uh, from being part of the United Kingdom, from being part of that great union, um, can continue to have those benefits, benefits that are not available elsewhere, uh, and that things that we need to recognise are not available elsewhere, and that doing anything different than being in this great union uh, will actually ensure that people have less disposable income, less access to, to free health care, and so many other things. So I'm confident of a bright future for Northern Ireland within the Union. I celebrate the 100 years that we have, and I look forward to leaving it in a great place for future generations to enjoy this Northern Ireland.